Veritas Capital has completed its purchase of K-Space Systems and changed the name of the acquired business to FrontGrade Technologies to reflect its objectives of creating technology platforms that support national security and addressing engineering challenges facing clients. Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane Division has awarded Mantech a five-year, $57 million task order to help enhance the capabilities of expeditionary weapon systems used by U.S. Special Operations Command. Department of Homeland Security Chief Procurement Officer, Paul Courtney will deliver the keynote address at Executive Biz Homeland Security Forum on February 7. Customs and Border Protection Chief Acquisition Officer Mark Burkowski will also participate in a panel discussion at the event, which will cover a range of the recent challenges to national security and the proposed solutions. James Freeman has been named Senior Vice President of Government Affairs and Washington Operations at Map Large, a position in which he will be responsible for the oversight of the company's government affairs activities and programmatic work. The U.S. Army has chosen Advanced Technology International to manage a group of companies and academic institutions that will carry out prototype projects under the second iteration of the Training and Readiness Accelerator Other Transaction Agreement. Parsons subsidiary Exitor will support the U.S. Air Force's Integrated Base Defense Security System through its position on a task order that could be worth up to $79.5 million. Stan McChrystal, a retired U.S. Army four-star general, has joined the advisory board of artificial intelligence company Accrete. Network Operations Software Applications Developer Code Metal has demonstrated its integrated battalion and below program during the U.S. Army's Project Convergence 2022. Join Potomac Officers Club's Mission Partner Environment and JADC2 Intersection Forum on January 19, 2023. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. The Small Business Administration has started accepting applications for a certification program for veteran-owned small businesses and service-disabled veteran-owned small businesses submitting offers for federal contracts. Terran Orbital completed a contract involving the use of its GeoStare, SV-2 spacecraft to capture satellite images for an independent research project owned by Lockheed Martin.